Hey guys. So uh, I want to talk a little bit about essential oils today. Um, this is something that I'm really new to, but a lady in our homeschool group invited me to a Young Living um, demonstration party. Um, she's one of their representatives. And so I went and um, just kind of listened to what she had to say, and I tried the different oils. And I thought it was really cool. Um, I loved all the multi-purposes that you can use the oils for, everything from um, relaxation to energizing to cleaning products. And, you know, you can do a whole lot with it. Um, there were some claims that I thought were just a bit out there, so like some people claim to, to you know, cure illnesses and like some pretty serious illnesses, so I'm not... I, I'm not really on the bandwagon for that, but I do think um, using the essential oils could be um, could really work well in like preventing you know getting sick with oils like thieves and um, you know uh, using in household cleaners, which is something I was experimenting with anyway. And also, I've been kind of wondering um, how to make certain uh, skincare products like soap and bath salt, and that was something I was already kind of looking into. So um, uh, looking into essential oils kind of goes really well with that. So um, I got really interested in it and started doing some research on them. And for one thing, um, it, you know, for somebody who's really new like I am, it's something that I need to experiment with and, and see what works well for me, what things I like, what things I don't like. But they are really expensive, you guys. Like it's not really the type of thing that you could really, for me anyway, with someone – uh, with a budget my size could, you know, buy a couple of bottles of this and that and then mix and, and you know, experiment with. Um, so I was a little, you know, let down, like, oh, man, you know, I really wanted to try this. Um, so I researched around and saw if I could find something that was a bit more affordable, which is why um, I'm making this video because um, I know a lot of, of people are using them now, even though it wasn't anything that I really heard of. Um, so I thought my uh, viewers might want to hear of some of the things that I found. Um, first off, I did order my very first um, bottle of essential oils, and that was the one thing like I really wanted to do is be able to buy one at a time. And with the Young Living products, I kind of it seemed like you had to buy like a big box of it, or at least that's what she said. I don't know, but even if I was just buying one or two, it was. It was really expensive, um, but I found a company that is um, called Eden's Garden, and this is what I just bought, um, and this is the relaxation, and I got this because I wanted to diffuse it and um, uh, in our homeschool room because Kaya has um, some issues with anxiety, so I thought this might be something that would be good to help calm him down, so I'm going to be um, trying that out and experimenting and see what what we can do with that. And this was $4.95. And if you are familiar with, um, if you're familiar with um, essential oils, you'll know that that is a fraction of the price that they normally are. And um, I got this um, online, and this company does not have, like, representatives and stuff, so they don't... Um, so they can cut down on the overhead. So like Young Living and doTERRA, they have, um, you know, they have people that are representatives and, you know, they, so every time they sell something, they have to, you know, pay a lot more people. Whereas this company just, you just go to the website and it's from website to customer like that, which might be why a lot of people don't know about them. But um, just if you're interested in essential oils, that might be something you want to try out. Um, I've looked at a lot of reviews, and it seems that they are just as good as Young Living or doTERRA, and um, some, at least one of the reviews that I found, um, found that they, they liked uh, Eden's Garden better. So that's one thing. So that that's my first little foray into it. Some other essential oils that I have. Um, so that was the first one that I bought, and then there's some stuff that I got at the party, or at the demonstration party. Um, this is Sore Throat, and this is actually a Young Living, but this is on like a little roller. And I plan to use this again if I can figure out how to get the top off. <laughs> but this is Sore Throat, and it's a mix of Thieves, Lemon, and Palo, Palo Santa with V6 as a carrier oil. It smells really good, and um, for any of you who know 
anything about uh, essential oils, thieves is one of the most popular, and that's something that I've been seeing over and over again in my research is thieves and the many uses for it, especially in preventing getting colds and flus during the cold months. So um, I've used a good amount of it, and not only on myself, but other people, and I really like it. So most likely I'm going to be getting some more. Um, I've also tried the Joy Mix, and this is also from Young Living. This is a bath salt, and again, this is from my friend that, um, that did the party, and I really love this, and I'm probably going to try to recreate it, and um, I'm planning to make some bath salts um, on my own in about, about a week or so. Um, I, I have to go out and get the ingredients and just have the time to do it but yeah I was really happy with my order so far with Eden's Garden and I love the price again um, for somebody on a, on a small budget and who is very new to essential oils um, a really small price allows you to experiment and, and work with um, different varieties and different combinations so it also came with one of these um, 101 ways to use essential oils, and I thought this was really helpful. Um, so you just have different ones for the home and um, travel and all types of stuff. So that was really cool. Um, so far, the only thing that I've really done with it is I made a little spray. I know you're supposed to put it in a glass bottle, but I didn't know that until after I made this. Uh, again, I'm very new to that. But this is just a few, I think, like 10 drops of my relaxation oil um, in this and it makes a very fine mist and so I'm just going to be spraying that in our homeschool room for a while and um, hopefully that will help Kai to have some some calm. Um, I see, is there anything else? Uh, yeah, so I just kind of wanted to share that because I have a feeling that some of the people that subscribe to my channel would probably be interested. I see a lot of mothers using essential oils and um, you know, especially if you have kids, your budget is is going to be tight, and this is a way that you can experiment and see what you like, and then maybe if you, you know, find something that you like, you, you know, can maybe invest in something that's more expensive if you think that would be better. Um, but, again, from what I've seen, um, the Eden's Garden seems to be either as good or better than the more expensive oils. So I just kind of wanted to share that, and if I have any other, um, you know, cool things that I find out about the uh, essential oils that I've been using or if I have like a really good result with something I'll come back and share that too so I'll see you all bye